going on guys antonio navia back again with another one for you guys uh before we get started today man something i wanted to uh, mention in, in our video because i did tell you guys we would be sprinkling fragrance oils here and there i'm not really going to get too much into um anything about specifically selling fragrance oils today but more of a a, a a call to action guys more of a listen if you guys like what we're doing then please go over to our website man and support us go buy one of these fragrance oils for your family members or something like that one for yourself you know just to show your support and your love for the family man we really appreciate that all the support we've been getting we love it we appreciate you guys and uh let's get into the video so today today we are going to talk about fear fear all right let me put this down <laughs> so um let me see let me get my scriptures I guess. fear I notes. is the opposite of faith yes so do not fear um so this is second timothy 1 and verse 7 says for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power but of love and a sound and of a sound mind and then i also want to read um, the same scripture from, sorry, the same scripture from the Amplified said, I sought, inquired of the Lord and required him of necessity and on the authority of his word. And he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. I think this, this is Psalms 34. I'm sorry, Psalms 34 and 4. So that's the Amplified version. The King James says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. So, yeah, we want to talk about fear and how um, we should not fear. We should not walk in fear, but we should walk in faith and walk in faith in God's word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I tell you, man, fear and dealing with fear is a it's a big topic. And it's something that, you know, the Lord is teaching me how to deal with as we even have this conversation. Um, and overcoming fear and just walking in faith and walking by faith um, is more than just a concept. You know, it's not just a concept of faith. I think a lot of times, I think, I don't know, I guess I had a concept of faith, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> and not really understanding that faith is a substance. Faith is an action. It's something that you can... It's I don't know how to describe it, man. It's beyond. It's really beyond. It's like faith is. Um, I know the word say faith is the substance of things hopeful, the right. evidence of things not seen. But faith is something that comes from the Holy Spirit. Right. You know, it, there's human faith, and then there's the faith that the Spirit of God gives you. And I've heard it been said that faith is a force. Right. You know what I'm saying? So faith is, it's spiritual. And we all have, like the word says, a measure of faith. Right. But sometimes we don't exercise that faith because we don't really know how to exercise that faith. Um, and it's also important to have faith in the word of God. You know, like sometimes we have faith in different things, you know, like uh, our job, our doctor, you know, our plans. But we don't have faith in the word of God or say faith in the the impossible like healing you know mm. or um supernatural provision or seeing people delivered from um demons like some people don't have faith for that you know or mm. <laughs> just don't even believe at all you know mm. but the faith that we share in that christ died for us to share in is different from just human faith you know i have faith i'll lose this weight you know if you apply these certain principles work out eat this i'm gonna lose weight you know you put your mind to it but then there's another faith that comes from the spirit of god that we have to exercise that you will see impossible things done right we want to see the impossible we have to exercise faith so now i think what's important too is to talk about how you get faith right because the word tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now we have, the, of course, we know the written word of God that we read, but also faith comes by hearing what God is speaking to you directly. As you pray, as you seek the Lord, as you get into that place with him, mm -hmm. and he begins to tell you things specifically about your life. If you act on what God tells you, then that will build. It's, it's almost like um, a snowball effect because he also tells us another place in the scripture that if you don't exercise your faith and it dies, he said, he said um, 
faith without works or faith without action is dead. Right. So if you don't act on what God tells you, then the faith that you that 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 came to you when you actually heard the word of God or when you received the word of God, right. then it will die. Right. You see, you have to be mindful that the enemy doesn't plant seeds of doubt, see, because that's what he does. He'll come and he'll plant seeds of doubt the moment that God says something to you. Like God may say, I want you to do this. And the moment he says that to you, the enemy will be right there to try to snatch that seed out of your mind. And depending on whether or not you've built yourself up in the faith enough in the word to be able to withstand <laughs> the attacks of the enemy. Because remember, he also tells us that faith is a shield and it'll quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Right. right? Because the enemy comes against the mind. Right. The enemy will attack the body. He'll do all types of things to try to get you out of faith, to try to get you off of what the word of God tells you about God a specific situation. Yeah. So if, if the Lord tells us that by his stripes we are healed, then he meant exactly what he said. You see, we try to take it and say, oh, well, that don't mean that. And, you know, maybe he, he was just talking about this. And you trying to put your own ideas and your own thoughts on something instead of just taking God at his word for what he said. You see, mm -hmm. and then when you do those things, the enemy already defeated you. You already been defeated. <laughs> right. You didn't even have to. You don't even got to fight you. You already been defeated because you never believed to begin with. Right. And then we look in the scriptures also, and we see where Christ specifically talks about the different the different types of of uh, of mindsets. When he goes and he said, "Behold, the soul goes forth and he sows seed," and some fell on stony ground, some fell on some fell by the wayside, some fell. On, on good ground, you know, and, and he then he, then he goes in and, and he talks about that. Where's that scripture? Uh, I, I'll link it in there. I'll put it in there so in, in the video so you guys can go and look at it for yourself yeah. um, because I'm just paraphrasing it right now. But that's something that's definitely important um, on the topic of faith because it tells us what type of believer we are. Right. And if you go back to that video, what I posted that video a few a few maybe weeks ago or months ago now probably uh, talking about what type of believer are you. Because we have a decision. We can choose. Right. And that's something that's very important, too, to understand that you choose. Right. What type of person you're going to be. You don't have to allow the enemy to destroy your life. You can choose to say, I'm going to believe the word of God. And then you keep quoting that scripture. You keep saying the things that God says, no, no matter what it looks like. Right. Because remember the brother, who was it? I believe it was Paul. Or was it when he said, we walk by faith and not by sight and not by sight. These are not just cliches, guys. They shouldn't be just a cliche anyway to the born again believer. Right. We walk by faith and not by sight. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters what God said, because remember, that is what faith is. Faith right comes from God. It comes from the word of God. Yes. And it is a substance. It is a force it is. that we receive and can be built. It can be built upon. Faith to faith. Yes. Right. It can be built upon. Mm -hmm. That means that you can get more faith. And Jesus said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain and tell it to be removed and the cast into the sea and it shall be done. If you, oh, as long as you believe it, mm -hmm. that you receive it, you shall have it. He said it. Whatever you ask in my name, mm -hmm. if you believe that you have it, right. then it shall be done for you. And so a lot of times the Lord will tell us to do different things, whatever it is, start a business um, or anything. And, and so because of what we see, oh, I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I don't have this. I don't have that. Or you allow people as well to talk you out of what God has told you to do. Mm -hmm. We don't step out, you know, and believe God do, do what you can with what you have. Mm -hmm. And God will add to the rest of what he's told you. A lot of times the Lord tells us to do something. It seems so impossible, mm -hmm. but the Lord specializes in the impossibilities of life. That's how he works. Right. But who will believe the word of the Lord? Right. You know what I'm saying? Th this is why the children of Israel did not enter into the promised land because mm -hmm. they did not believe. And that was offensive to the Lord. You, you mm -hmm. know, they saw his mighty acts and his mighty power. And then, you know, they walked out of Egypt with all the wealth of Egypt. And then they get into the wilderness and God said, go spy out the land. And because the giants are so big and they probably didn't even really know how to fight. But 
they're like, nah, we can't take that land. And that was so offensive to the Lord to not have faith because the words even tell you the just shall live by faith in God. So it's an offensive thing not to believe God. It's like he is God. So if he said, go take the land, go take the land because it's not in your strength. It's in his power. Not so by might, no by power. But whatever by the spirit. Lord is telling you to do, do it. Don't let people talk you out of it because they have no faith. You know, and even if you have some faith, a little bit of faith, they'll talk you out of the little bit of faith that you have to even put your toe out. You know what I'm saying? So whatever God is telling you to do, do it. You know, as you mentioned in these things, man, I think that is very, and I'm so, this is such a diverse topic, guys. It's so, it's simple, but at the same time, it affects our lives in so many different ways. It's true. It really does, man. It, it, to the, to the non-believer, right? So here's the thing. You hear the word of God and you know that this is true, right? You heard it and you know that it's true, but, you, but you're afraid to pick up the Bible to actually read it. Or you pick it up and say, man, I don't know where to start. I'm recognizing now, like within myself, at the, before I got saved, I would pick up the word and I wouldn't be able to understand it because I was already telling myself that I don't understand it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was already, the enemy was already bombarding my mind. He was already telling you're not going to understand it. Oh, God is not real. All <laughs> of these different things that the enemy was telling me that I didn't recognize that it was the enemy. Yeah. But as I began to read the word and I, and I just kept pressing fast, just pushed past the feeling of, of, um, of uh, what is the feeling? It was is a feeling of, of not knowing. What is that feeling? Is, is when you feel... Um, inadequate almost to a certain degree you know the the, the unknown yeah. it's like I'm reading but I don't know what I'm reading you know but I'm just going to keep reading until I understand what I'm reading so I just continue to do that and I just continue to read and as I continue to read I would, I'm seeing something happen on the inside and what that is is faith is building inside mm -hmm. because I'm reading the word of God and remember faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God mm -hmm. That is how we get faith, beloved. You don't have to feel nothing. But right. as you begin to read, you begin to stay in that thing and meditate on his word. Faith is building in me. Go ahead. And I want to say that, too. Like when you say, you know, like faith coming by hearing. Right. And hearing by the word of God. It's also a spiritual hearing. Yeah. It's not yeah. just a physical hearing. Right. It's a hearing of the, of the spirit. You know what I mean? Of the mm -hmm. heart. Now you know, wow, God is real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you can hear words. Right. But the the spirit of the word now becomes alive in you. Right. You know, and so you begin to really truly hear. Right. You know? Right. So and then you make confession. Right. And that's amazing. It's like it's so intricate. It's so woven into who we are. And the reason why it is is because that's what God made us to be. Right. He made us to have fellowship with him through faith. With the heart of man believe and with the mouth he makes confession unto salvation. That's prior to you receiving the Holy Spirit, beloved. It's like he, with, the, with, with the heart of man believe in the mouth he makes confession, right? Mm -hmm. Unto salvation. That's, true. That's amazing. So it's like here it is. I'm reading my Bible and now faith is building in me, which is a supernatural force. It's not something that you can manipulate on your own. Right. It comes from God. All right. So you have the supernatural force building up in me in, in, in the spirit of saying, don't mistake faith right. for ambition. Well, all right. Because a lot of y'all are mistaking faith for ambition. Or you see somebody that's ambitious and then they tell you that it's faith. And the reality is it's just their own human ability, their own human effort. I think the word talks about selfish ambition. Right. In heart. So be careful about that. Mm -hmm. Don't just go headstrong into something because that's something you desire to do. Right. Check with the Lord and make sure that God is telling you to do these things right. that, that or do the things that you are trying to do. Right. OK, uh, so what they saying? Like, so as I'm reading the word and faith is building. Then I begin to make confession based on the faith that I have. And it was only a little bit of faith. I said, Lord, I see these people who love with such Excuse supernatural me, yes. love. Yes. And I know that I don't love this way. And um, hold on. All right. Yeah, so uh, we had to cut the video for a moment. One of the kids came, so 
we had to tend to the children because as, as as we tell you guys all the time in every video just about yes, <laughs> you know kids. we have our kids there so we have to try to you know um, manage these things uh, as as um, as, as best as we can you know what I mean to get this stuff to out do. so anyway what I was talking about was as uh, how the process of me coming unto the Most High and recognizing and how that really um, coincides with faith in, in hopes that you will be able to, 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 to receive that and um, decipher it within your own life. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it, it really is a personal thing and it really is going to be something that you're going to have to begin to develop. And if you don't have faith, then the very the the, the most the, the simplest and easiest way to say um, to develop your faith is to simply read your Bible. Okay, yes. read your Bible. It's as simple in place. It's as simple as that. You know, if you don't have any uh, belief that God exists, read your Bible and ask Him to open your read eyes. Read your Bible because guess <laughs> what? The moment you lay your eyes on those, on, on, the moment you lay your eyes on those scriptures, which is the inspired Word of God. It is going to build faith in you. Amen. No doubt about it. It's going to build faith in you. And then as that faith builds, if you continue and don't allow the enemy to take you out, Amen. that means no matter what you feel, no matter what you think, don't stop. Keep reading. Keep pressing. Keep knocking. He said, knock and keep on knocking and yes. the door will be opened unto you. That is a guarantee. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's not, a, you know, that, that's not religion. That's guarantee. Right. If you want to know if God is real and you want to know if God exists, read your Bible and stay reading it. Yes, and also too, guys, um, you have to realize that your flesh is at enmity with God. Right. And you have to learn to walk in the Word and walk in the Spirit. Because when God tells you something, especially something that seems impossible, right. you're going to have all kind of feelings. Y your flesh is going to act up. You're gonna your mind. This the, the, the demonic spirits will try to speak to your mind because mm -hmm. they do not want you to walk in the plan and will of God. So what you gotta do is check with the Holy Spirit, check with the Word, and see what God says. Cause the feelings will come, but sometimes it's inspired by the enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's up to you. Like he'll he'll suggest things, but you gotta recognize that's the enemy. Or your flesh. You got to be able to differentiate between your flesh, a demonic spirit, or the Holy Spirit or the Word of God. Because oftentimes we are so, we got to renew our minds by the Word right. and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to be renewed by, you know, renew your, your mind through the Word. Right. Because other than that, you're just going to be driven by your flesh, driven by demons, and driven out of the plan of God. Right. You know? So, that's why, you know, sometimes the fear comes. Fear comes when you, you're supposed to do something that God says to do. He's, he's inspiring an idea or, or telling you to take this route. And because it looks impossible, oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm anxious. Oh, it's not going to work. That, I don't, I, th that's not how it works. It's not logical. It doesn't matter. It's what God says. When God says it, it's done. There's so many examples in the Bible of God doing things that were absolutely impossible. You know, and we need to begin to take our faith and trust in the Lord more than we more than the fear that we feel or the impossibility we see in front of us. Because fear will stop you. But Amen. faith will carry you to where God wants you to be. Amen. Amen. We need some music in the background for that. <laughs> uh, so, you know, yeah, no, nah, it's the truth, oh. though. Right? <laughs> it's the truth, man. Uh, as as you're saying these things, I just I tell you guys, it's it's really it's really amazing, man, because you go from faith to faith, right? From glory to glory, higher levels, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it, you continue, but how do you decipher the difference between, you know, um, true and false? Right. Right. How, how, like sincerely, I mean, truly, true and false, not what I think to be true and what I think to be false. You know, there, there's a knowledge which is the knowledge of God. There, there is a wisdom that is above human wisdom. There is a knowledge that is above human knowledge, and it comes from God, okay? And even on the opposite side of that, there, there, the, the, the demonic power is higher than your thought. 
the demonic power is, is higher than what you can conceive. The wisdom of the, of the enemy is greater than human wisdom. Okay, so in order for us to be able to decipher the, the, the weapons of the enemy and also be able to use the weapons that God has given us here on the earth, we have to get in his word. Amen. And by staying in the word, reading the word, we will be able to understand. Oh, wait, that is not that's not God. Mm -hmm. God didn't say that. Right. You see, because when I begin this thing, when we all begin this thing, God is protecting us. He's watching us. He's keeping us. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and as we walk and as we grow, the more we stay in that word, we will never stumble. We will never fall because you know what? God is going to use his word right. to speak to you. Right. He's going to come to you. He's going to tell you where to go. When right. I didn't know mm -hmm. what to do, God would say, no, don't do that. Right. Don't go this way. And the reason, and how would he say that? Mm -hmm. I'll be reading the word and I'm seeing the situation. That's exactly what I'm going through. And I know that that's God talking to me. Right. You're going to know. Mm -hmm. All right. And then when something else will rise up, you say, wait, I saw that in the word and this is the devil. OK, that's the <laughs> devil. You see what I'm saying? You have to understand that we are as children. Mm -hmm. We are as children inside of a, a playpen called the world, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And we need the father to guide us through this life yes. to go where we, we are supposed to go. If you put your hands into a child of a child molester, the, 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 then, then would you, if you put your child into the hands of a child molester is what I meant to say, what do you expect is going to happen? Right. You see, and that's like what it is, man. You have, you have the enemy who is here in the earth roaming about looking for whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. And when he finds somebody, he takes them up and he tries to destroy their life. He said he comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy but, right, but Christ comes but that you may have Christ. life, amen, and life more abundantly. So That's it. I'll just say that. Listen, surrender your life once again. I'll say that. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Amen. Because. That's the best way. There's the, that's the only way. That's the that's only it. way. That's what you got to understand. And I think a lot of people miss it, man, because they get so caught up in this religious aspect of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't with none of the religion. Me neither. <laughs> I follow Jesus Christ. We are servants of the Most High God. This ain't about no religion. This is the truth. There is a God in heaven. Yes. And he will speak to men. If they will seek him. If you will seek him. You'll find him. And Jesus is the Christ. Yep. He is the anointed one of the Messiah, of the Most High. He was the sacrifice that God sent into the world for all humanity. Mm -hmm. As many as would believe on him will have eternal life, man. Mm -hmm. All right? This, I'm telling you, like I said, this ain't about no religion. Because I said there's probably going to be somebody watching the video thinking, oh, this is just that religious talk again. This ain't about no religion, man. This is about the truth of your life, specifically mm -hmm. your life. Yes. God has a plan for your life. And if you want to know the plan that God has for your life, he's given us the book, man. Yes. Get into the book. And then when you get in the book and you learn, then you'll know how to communicate with God. Yes. You'll understand how to, you'll, you'll, you'll get to places, you'll start to develop the ability to be able to stand on the word of God and actually use the word of God. He's the, it's like you're not going to give a firearm to a child and expect them to go out and know how to use it properly. No, sir. God is going to do the same thing. They, listen, you got to, guys, the word of God is a weapon. It's a weapon. We are soldiers mm -hmm. in training, right? When you first start, you're training and God will protect you. And then there's times as he's as you progress that he's going to he's going to put you or allow you to be in situations where you're going to begin to exercise your faith, mm -hmm. depending upon what level you on. Mm -hmm. Right. So when you look at these people who may be on greater levels, like, you know, some of some of the some of the uh, the prophets, like we look at the prophets. All right. We just use the prophets because that's something everybody can get with. All right? Right. <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going to use real life, modern day examples. All right. Because. I know that you got your own qualms and everybody got their own thing about this one said that and this, that and third. Yes. All right. But, you know, just 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 rest assured that there are some modern day examples of these things that we're talking about right now where you can see that people are on different levels and men and women have gone to higher heights and understand how to use the word of God because they've been in the word of God long enough and they've graduated to new levels in the faith. Amen. All right. Um 
But, you know, I, I use one of the old generals like Smith Wigglesworth. If you don't know Smith, go back and take a look Listen, at Smith. Look all right? up Smith Wigglesworth. Go, go, go Please, take a guys. look at Brother Smith Wigglesworth, all right? Or yes. Amy Simple McPherson. Or Azusa or, Street or, Revival. Or the Azusa Street Revival. Mm -hmm. Brother William Seymour, okay? Uh, go take a look at some of those people, which, you know, which we can see in modern day times where the fire of God was falling from the sky, where everybody in the hospital was healed. All right. Where the power of God was moving through people where dead people were ra raised from from the dead to life. Yes. Limbs okay? growing back. Limbs guys. growing back. All of these things happen. OK. Uh, listen to a Shambach, R.W. Shambach. He was around at the time when A.A. Allen and all these people were doing and, and, and the miracles was breaking out. And he gives testimonies about these things. And he himself has witnessed miracles. All right. But, you know, go back and we look at the prophets and then we look at these men, these great men of what? Faith. Great men of faith, not you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, it's that word will always come back because the word of God tells us it's impossible to please God without faith, without faith. Mm -hmm. And he's it's like a cheat sheet, man. Yeah, people don't want to believe it, they want to believe that their works, you know. Right. But there's um, there's a work of faith as right. well, you know, like. Are you going to do what God tells you to do, even though it's, it's impossible? Some, sometimes faith is not, like my husband said, your ambition mm -hmm. or you doing what you want to do in your mind. But faith is doing what God says to do. Like when he told Abraham, sacrifice Isaac. Well, man, listen. <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? God told him that. We, we just read about you know? it. We don't or think it really he told happened. him, yeah. go to a land that I will show you. Right. God told him that. Right. He didn't just pick up and say, you know what, I think I'm going to move. Right. Not that. God gave him directions right. on moving. He didn't have the map to where he was going to go. Mm -hmm. But as he obeyed the Lord, the Lord gave him the steps along the way. Sometimes obeying God doesn't mean you see the whole map. It most takes of the faith. Time. Well, most of the time, <laughs> honestly, all the time. It, it took yeah. faith for him to step out. To go into that land mm -hmm. that God would show him. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So the faith is not just you doing whatever you want. Faith is obeying the work that God says to do. If right. God says go stand on the corner at 925, are you going to believe to go stand on the corner at 925? Not knowing why you're going to stand on the corner. You know what I mean? Doing what God says. Stepping out and going and saying, man, I'm going to look stupid. Well... I'm going to go in the corner to stand there for what? Mm -hmm. No. You, because you believe God and you believe his word, mm -hmm. you're going to get up, you're going to get dressed, and you're going to go step out your door, and you're going to go stand on the corner at 945 or 925, whatever God says, and follow the instructions he gives you from that point. Mm -hmm. Now that, my brothers and sisters, is faith in God. Right. That's how you exercise right. your faith. Mm -hmm. And as we exercise our faith, we will see the miraculous power of God which will cause us to worship as you exercise your faith no matter how great or how small it's going to cause you to have authentic worship authentic worship man not just worship of the mind but true and authentic worship which mm -hmm. is now you're getting into a whole another another aspect of things when you start talking, when we talk, we did the video talking about psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Yeah, we got to get back these to things too. come as a result of you exercising your faith. It's faith when you get on your knees to even pray. Right, and knowing God hears you. He said. When you he pray. said. He said. He said. Uh, he that comes to me must first believe that I am. Right. That's the very first thing. In order for you to get on your knees or even, you know, whether you're walking around or whatever, however you pray, you right? Pray, right? So, in your car. Uh, whatever it is, right? But in order for you to even pray, right. it takes believe. faith. You yeah. have to first believe that God believe. is and that he is what? A rewarder. Of those. Who of them that diligently seek, diligently seek him. Amen. Not one time. No. Not, 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 yeah, not, you know, I did last year. You know, I, I, I used to be on that stuff hard, too. No. You know, I used to no. worship God a lot back <laughs> in the day, you know. But, I, you know, I got away from all that. I grew out of that. You know, I grew out of that. Come back. You cut that, you cut that lifeline, faith stops growing. It's true. And then fear and flesh and, everything. and every other and demonic folks. thing comes yeah. over and takes over you. It's not a matter of it can. It's, it's, it's a guarantee that it will. Mm -hmm. I promise you, if you're not walking by faith, then, you're, then, then your life is in shambles. 
That's no, they, they, that's no <laughs> doubt about it. You might be you might be deceived into believing that your life is okay. You might be deceived into believing that hey, you know everything is good. It's going the way just the way I like it to go. Listen, man. Make sure that you're on the path that God set for you because that's the only path that's going to give you full and, 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 and absolute spiritual and physical enjoyment, man. And, and I'll say peace. And peace, for Because, you know, once you're on God's path, it's not that you're not going to have challenges right. or opposition, but there is a peace that passes all understanding, like for real, mm -hmm. when you're on God's path. Right. Things are happen. Um circumstances may come up but once you know you're in the center of god's will not on the sideline not on the borderline not over in another place you shouldn't be but the center of his will there's a peace that passes all understanding and so challenges may come but you you won't be in fear you know mm -hmm. fear may even try to come upon you mm -hmm. but with the assistance of the word of god and the holy spirit you you tear down that stronghold mm -hmm. in the mind mm -hmm. you know and you speak what god says you know once you're in the center of his will. Very important too that what you just said, speak what God says. Your tongue, man. You know, like the brother saw we was listening to a um, brother preaching earlier, but just, just going in on that a little bit. Uh, that life and death is in the power of the tongue. It's written, man. Mm -hmm. What you say matters. It does. And the enemy is gonna come against your mind to try to get you to say something other than what God says. This is why it's important to stay away from fear. Right. And stay in faith. Right. And stay in the word. Right. And stay in prayer. And stay in worship. And stay in praise. Because mm -hmm. those things are going to keep your mind. I kept looking down at my little notes that I made. I made notes. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to read this to you guys. I Googled it. And it says, fear weakens our immune system and can cause cardiovascular damage, gastrointestinal problems such as ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, and decreased fertility, and it can lead to accelerated aging, even premature death. So all that fear mongering y'all watching on TV, I admonish you to turn it off. All that stuff that's giving you anxiety, <laughs> turn it off. And get into your word mm -hmm. and get into worship mm -hmm. and get into praise where there's peace, mm -hmm. where there's direction, you know, and where there's mm -hmm. freedom. So no matter what's going on around you, you can live your life in peace. Not that we don't pay, we don't see that stuff is going on, mm -hmm. but what God authored for you is peace, you know, mm -hmm. not fear. Mm -hmm. So choose faith over fear. Right. And you will be all right. Everything yes. will be all because right. the Lord will yeah. give you direction. Amen. You, know and what you I mean? will always know where you're supposed to be, man. Right. You're always gonna know what the outcome is. You're never gonna be in the dark. Yes. He said, "My my my word is a light unto thy path. My word a is a lamp unto, unto thy, thy feet, feet and, a light and a light unto, unto thy, thy path. path." Amen. You see, see, sometimes the spirit <laughs> will just give me scriptures, and I just get it. And I just say a little piece of it, and that's why I got my wife, and she'll brag. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Two is better than one, man. I mean, Two even, you know, just faith, guys. Mm -hmm. Choose faith today. Today. You know, today, today. Choose today, faith. Today, today. You know, I want to go, we want to go back into teaching about, you know, Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs right. and we just how that, that keeps you yeah. full and keeps you in peace no matter what. Like, even this, you know, um, the word is a lamp onto my feet. You can sing that, you know? Yeah. Whatever day. scripture is. Get yourself is good. an instrument in worship <laughs> and play some flute for y'all. I'm going to get some flute and we'll play that. We're going to do all of that stuff. We got a whole lot of stuff planned for the channel, man. Yes, a lot of all things right, that, you know, the Lord's things. been teaching that us. God has been giving we want to share with you guys share with because I feel like, yeah. you know, I lost some battles, <laughs> honestly, because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Not that mm -hmm. I didn't love God, you know, you, you have, sometimes we have zeal, but we have no knowledge. Right, right, we right. have no knowledge on how to fight, mm -hmm. on how to defeat certain things, and truly how to even follow the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we can we all really look back on our life. I think we can all look back, but I think that, that again, too, even going into that is like, that's just another tactic, tactic of the enemy, too, mm -hmm. to try to say, see, look back here where I did this, but right. where God said, I will restore the years, right? The okay. year that, that, that the canker worm, worm and the pommel and the worm, worm, worm and the pillow worm it, it, eaten. eaten up. So that means, see, no matter what you lost back then, God is able to give it back to you. Yes. All right. So, you so know, start today, today, right today, now, pick today. up your word, no matter Choose where you to are. Choose believe, baby, guys. All right.
All Choose right. to believe today. All right, guys. So we had to cut out to get the baby. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Bye. Yeah, you say bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. You want to wave? Bye-bye. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. Listen, man. This is Antonio Seymour, Navy Seymour. Baby see more. <laughs> like our video. Like the video, comment, subscribe, share. And like I said before, head on over there, guys. Support us if you like what we're doing. Support us by going to purchase a fragrance oil from us. And let us know that you got one, man. Let us know what your fragrance are, what fragrance you chose uh, in the comment section below. All right, so this is Davey Antonio, Seymour Creations. We out.